，你好啊，呃、我叫 Eddie 啊，歡迎你嚟到呢、這個我哋嘅呢個餐廳誒、呃、廚專啊，我哋呢度最拿手嘅係海南雞飯啦、啊，或者最出名嘅會有呢個肉骨茶。So the idea came about from James Cameron actually the show Avatar. It's the guy on a wheelchair in a capsule and create this cool creature. So I thought, why not we do the same thing? If this person at home, right, controlling a robot which operates in a common area, actually earning a living. That's what Project Dignity does. Creating jobs for people who we feel should be engaged and be integrated back to society. Technology and social can, mark, can come together. Nowadays, you see a lot of robots delivering goods and stuff like that. You go around spraying sanitizer. The robot can do more than that. I don't see why we can't put a human form into that co combination. <laughs> we want to reach out to more paralegic out there, homebound, to say that, hey, come on, there is a job for you if you really want. The psychological impact is even greater. We actually give hope to the person who is actually controlling the robot. And my plan for it is very simple, in Dignity Kitchen. After we get this whole thing to do the reception, I'm going to put an octopus behind it to be able to collect money. So let's say, for example, you want to order another pandan cake, there will can be two, there will be done. The vision is to have a control center somewhere in Hong Kong, controlling hundreds of robots across Hong Kong, in school, in a shopping center, in airport, in restaurant. I believe the entire will be hundreds of jobs created for paralegic.